We got in early this morning with Wala Ichi. Yeah, yeah, he's taken a nice improvement from his first up mm. run. He had a trip to, they both had a trip to Mooney Valley Saturday morning and uh, worked together here on the course proper again this morning. Very pleased with both horses, but Benegar in particular, he's, uh, you know, I think he's really stepped up again this campaign and uh, that first up run's pretty much convinced me of that. Okay, so it's a pretty, uh, pretty frightening thought for, for uh, to think that his comeback's better than his first campaign for you. Yeah, no, it, it's, uh, you know, frightening hopefully for the opposition, not for <laughs> me, but... Uh, I'm just hopeful. Second up last time he was a bit dull, but he had a pretty solid run first up, where this time round he's ended up with a very soft run first up. Um, second up it'll be interesting to see, because that was his only low point of his last campaign, second up last time, nine furlongs here. So with the benefit of that soft run first up, hopefully that'll aid his uh, chances on Saturday. Obviously a trip to Mooney Valley uh, just keeps the door open for, for Cox Plates. And was that the reason for going there? Yeah, well his program's planned around not going to the valley for a race, so I'll probably give him a couple of looks over there, although on Saturday uh, it looked like he uh, you know, didn't turn a hair, nothing faced him, but uh, might take the opportunity again the next three or four weeks or five weeks or whatever till Cox Plate time to have another spin over there. When do you make a decision which, which way you're going, or could you do the, do the, do the lot? No, um, Cox Place where he's going, the only reason he won't go there is if I don't think he can win it. Right. Uh, or if the Caulfield Cup looks more winnable. So the Cox Plate is where he's going at this point. So at this stage, Caulfield Cup's out? Yes. Okay. Well, Arici, happy with it? Yeah, he keep, continues to make progress. I think he'll appreciate the 1800. I was very pleased with his run here first up. I thought he was strong again on the line after a few got past him. Had to work hard from a bad gate. So. Uh, He's probably still a run off his top, uh, but uh, or a two, but um, you know he's making nice progress, and I think uh, 1800 here he'll sort of be on or about the speed. It just seems to be that free flowing type of galloper, um, you know, and they might have too much dash for him at nine furlongs. But uh, looking forward to getting another run under his belt. The Caulfield Cup for him, obviously. Yeah, well he's qualified for both cups, and they're, they're his sole target, so everything's geared towards Caulfield Melbourne Cup for him. Rest of the day, uh, you've got Katana and Total Attraction in the in the sprint. Katana returns. She's very good mare at this level. Um, she's super up the straight at Flemington, so uh, you know she's targeted at a couple of races there. I think it's the Gill Guy, and then either you know, um, but, you know, you'd like to think she might measure up to something like the Pat Mac that she ran third in last year. So she'll kick off here Saturday, probably in need of one, but. Uh, you know, it was going nicely and always competitive. Total attraction. Thought she probably just failed to run out a strong 1400 the other day, which she's indicated to me before. So we've freshened up, done very little with her, just a little short couple of furlong dash up here this morning and back to the 1200. Uh, ridden maybe a little bit quieter. Um, looking for her to run well and chasing that bit of bold black type. Your three-year-old stays. High esteem's ticking over nicely. Steps up to 1700 with Belouche. Both nice staying horses with a future, but I'm just not convinced that it's going to be a spring future. They're both still quite immature physically and mentally. It, it'll be a bit more seasoning for them, I think. Um, but in saying that, they're probably against their own. It looks like a, a good quality class one. Most of them are going to be maiden winners. 1700 home track will be a great education for both of them. And, uh, you know, if they can put their hand up, there's nice races ahead. But I'm thinking more autumn with both horses. Blackie should appreciate 1400 on Saturday. Yeah, I thought he was good at Flemington the other day. He got held up a bit and he was strong the last furlong. Uh, back to a handicap, 1400. It'll be nice for him to try and get a win under his belt and then maybe we can lift the bar post that. Dreamface and uh, and uh, Cal Grinder running the uh, 1200. I thought Dreamface was very good here in the mare's race the other day. She takes the big weight drop into open company, 1100. So, uh, um, you know, she was strong at the end of 1000. You know, 1100 forms pretty good in the territory as well. So uh, she's done everything right since a pleasing first up win. Cal Grinder, not 100% sure that she'll take a place here or wait for a 950 at the Valley. She's very good fresh and is working super. I've just got to work out in the next sort of couple of days uh, if we do kick her off here. And when do you get to have a look at Black Caviar and we get a bit closer to making some decisions? Not game to tell you blokes, too many cameras here. <laughs> but uh, oh, listen, we're talking and uh, you know about Saturday, Sunday week, we'll uh, have a chat with the owners and uh, she will have done a month's pre-training then as has always been planned. But I've got to say everything's very positive at this point in time. Lights, Lights of Heaven going over Sydney? Lights of Heaven runs in the Hill Stakes. She pulled up with a low grade lung infection uh, the other day, but I'm <laughs> pleased to say it's cleared up very quickly and uh, look forward to her out to 2000 on Saturday. And what about Thigh? How's she tracking her? Uh, Thigh's gone to the paddock, uh, unfortunately. Um, we had her down to run in the naturalism on Saturday, but she uh, sprained her fetlock. Uh, X rayed and scanned clear, but very badly bruised, so we've decided to put her away and bring her back for the autumn.